we're gonna do is just take a few moments just to get those little stiff parts of our body a little more loosened. So that way when we meditate, we're not thinking about our body so much and we can focus on our quality of breath and quality of mind. So with nice deep breath in, we're gonna take our arms up, reaching our arms up to the sky and dropping the breath deep into the belly. So reach and exhale, round down. And we'll repeat that. And I like to talk about drama in the body. Sometimes we want to get like really big and add lots of movement. And sometimes at drop down, we want to be small and conservative. And there's nothing wrong with adding drama or just reaching up and being small. One more. Exhale, drop the shoulders round down and just sway back and forth. So either being big or small is going to just continue on throughout this whole practice. And it all depends on what's going on in your body on this day. There's no wrong. Hmm. Just turn that into some shoulder shugs, some sways. Coming into more comfortable positions, rooting down through your hips. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, reach arms up again, and this time spiral twist. So I'm anchored through my hips and I'm twisting and I'm gonna drop my arms but keep the chest lifted. And taking a nice deep belly breath in, nice deep exhale. And when we do this, we're trying to expand our breath out all different directions, like we're pushing in and out from our insides out for a stretch. Good, and we're gonna do the same thing other direction, lifting your arms up, spiral twist, drop the arms down, and nice deep breath in, deep breath out. So if this stretch or any other stretch feels uncomfortable, a little smaller, and see if you can focus more on quality of breath rather than how far you can wrap yourself around. Good, back to center. All right, so we've done some twists. Now we're going to lean. So we'll reach our arms up and reach over to one side. Drop your arm that's closest to the ground and do a little wave. So we're elongating through our side body, taking nice deep breaths in. Now, if your shorter side is cramped, come up a little bit. I'm a big believer in softening your body in for meditation, not trying to force it into anything. Reach your arm up and over, taking another deep breath in, deep breath out. And come on up. Reaching your arms up and over. Dropping the arm and doing a little wave. Now, if you see me do something and you just know that reaching your arm up over your head is a no-go, then don't be so big with the movement. Do what for your body, rather than trying to force your body into a position that it doesn't want to be in. And that works for so many things in life as well. Good. So last time wave, reach your arm up, rooting down through your hip to get a nice, beautiful stretch and breathing in, breathing out. And come on up. All right, so we're gonna give ourselves a little shoulder massage. I'm going to take my fingers, press them in to the back of my neck. And it's going to vary for what works for you. You can walk your fingers out or in. And if you find a good spot, it's like you're playing the piano. 
Sometimes people like to move their head a little bit, but that only if that works for you. And taking nice deep breaths as you give yourself a little massage. You can carry so much tension in your neck and shoulders without even realizing. But taking just a few moments to see if you can breathe and release even 10% of that tension, it can help with our meditation. If that feels good. You can walk your fingers up your neck to the back of your head, even to your temple, if it feels good. Shake it out. Awesome. So we're going to do just a tiny little bit of neck and shoulder work. So you're going to take one hand, cross it over to the opposite shoulder, and you're going to take your head gently over to one side. And it's good to keep your spine nice and tall, and you're only stretching from your neck up, and that can help get a little more of a stretch to the arm or the shoulder and the neck. And if it feels good, you can look down at your knee. It's still taking nice deep breaths in. Bring your head up and switch sides. If one side is tighter than the other, that's totally normal. Sometimes it's just how we sleep or just sometimes an imbalance in the body. That's absolutely fine. Just might mean we have to be a little more aware when we stretch. And if it feels like it's cramping or tense doesn't feel good, come up a little bit. You might find a better stretch. Turning your chin down, looking at your knee. Keeping your breath deep. Good, and drop the arm. All right, we're gonna take our hands, clasp them together, pressing them towards the back of the head. And I bring my elbows forward just a little bit. And I'm going to lengthen my spine and press my head into my hands, my hands into my head. Drop your belly deep, deep breaths deep into your belly. So it's equal and opposite pressure here. Now, if you have any neck issues or if this doesn't feel right, you do not have to do this for the following stretch. I'm gonna bring my elbows forward, drop the head, and I'm still pressing back. They're just getting a stretch and lengthening through the back of the neck. And like everything else here, I'm not forcing anything. Just a little resistance helps here. <sighs> Exhale, drop. So hopefully your torso are real. We're gonna work our way back up to the head. So if you have glasses on, just remove them for a moment. We're gonna take our pointer finger knuckles, bend them, starting at the base of the nose, and just gently working along the nose, to the brows, to your temples, jaw, and back to your nose. Just do this a few times, pausing wherever there's any extra tension. Sometimes our jaws are a major source of tension. And you're not gonna work anything out here, but sometimes just moving can allow you to relax a little bit more, soften a little more, so we can focus on our practice. Good. So next time you get to your nose, just take your hands and rub them together. I like to add a little shimmy, a little shimmy body. With a deep breath in, close your eyes like you're about to take a little rest and take your warm palms over your eyes to relax into the dark to relax into this, your central nervous system, taking a moment to raise awareness of your body and its sensations. If you'd like and you feel more relaxed, 
Take a moment to remember how you feel, knowing you can always return to this feeling with just a little movement, that it's always accessible for you. Your eyes still closed, allowing your palms to drop down into your lap. Taking a few breaths. When you're ready, you can flutter open your eyes. So good job, everybody. Um, if there's any other movement that your body is asking you to do, like walk around or any other stretches, this is your time to do so. Um, I just really appreciate you being here with me and just taking this time out to make your body a little more receptive to meditation and mindfulness. Thank you so much for joining me.